We know that fertilizing trees will help them to thrive, but how do we know what they really need? One way to find out is to do a soil test. Soil tests are inexpensive, they're easy to do, and in my opinion, they're invaluable to anybody wanting to grow pecan trees. Soil changes from location to location, and unless you get a test done, you really just don't know what nutrients are lacking in that soil, and you don't know what the pH level is. To get a soil test done, you can find a lab online or get in touch with your county's extension office. They'll educate you on how to get them a sample of your soil so that they can test it. I like to get a test done every winter and I only pay $6 per test. Collecting the soil for your test is it's really pretty simple. I just use a plastic five gallon bucket and a shovel and I collect small amounts of soil from a few random trees throughout my orchard. I'm just looking for an average here. I don't have to get soil from under every tree that's out there. I will say that in my orchard, I feel that one test is sufficient. As I don't have any major changes in the color or the texture of the soil from one end of my orchard to the other. If your orchard has changes like that or perhaps major changes in the topography, you may want to get a test done for each of the different types or areas that exist inside of your orchard. When it comes to actually scooping up that soil, I just take my shovel, break through that sod, and kind of lean it and just expose some of that clean soil that's about four to eight inches from the surface. I just take a little bit of that, scoop it out, and put it into my bucket. It is worth noting that I'll use a plastic bucket, as I've been told that using a metal bucket may taint your test results. It was a woman that told me that. That's not true, I actually knew that before. I knew that when I was born. My dad told me he's a dude. Once I've gathered up my samples into my bucket, I give them a good mixing, and I then take that average of my soil and I put it in the little baggie to be sent back to the extension office to get my test done. Make sure you let them know that you're growing pecan trees and fill out your information very clearly. You don't wanna get it crossed with somebody else's or get a wrong crop recommendation. Once I get my test results back, I use that information to calculate and shop for my lime and fertilizer needs. Now, if you're new to fertilizing and testing, take a few minutes and discuss your test results with your extension agent or with the lab that performed them for you, as they can help you interpret the results and oftentimes they'll point you in the right direction to shop for your lime and fertilizer needs. Guys, in my opinion, getting a soil test done is well worth the time and money that it takes. All the guesswork will be gone out of your fertilizing It'll show you where your pH level is, and it'll get you well on your way to an orchard full of thriving trees and hopefully a good crop of pecans. We have some other cool videos linked to this one below. Click, 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 click. I'm Silas Dudley. Thanks for watching me talk about a tree.